Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. This episode, we're going to go and do the Steps of Faith. Where is it? Here it is. Steps of Faith. We're going to join that. And I will get back to you once we find a party. So, I will be right back. Oh, thank God. We found a party. <laughs> Finally.
No oh god, we gotta run back to the gate. That's fun. So we just skipped through like the entirety of like the mechanics, which is great. That's funny. We skipped all the mechanics, I think, except for the maybe the cannons, but everything else oh, we just skipped. Yeah, that's right. The dragons, they're withdrawing! Victory is ours! Oh, thank god. Oh, that lava fell. Whew. Stinian. One of Nidhogg's greatest champions, Selene. The Horde will not soon recover from this blow. But what of you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this battle a slaughter? Have you grown so fond of the stench of your lair? Mayhap you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to do your bidding now, do you not? No matter, I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. But I yearn to spill the blood of a great worm, Nidhogg, and only your death will sate my lance. Oh, there he goes. Hey, Alphano. Atelios, the dragons were routed. Lest you wonder, the fighting at the Steel Vigil was also fierce, but my crystal braves were not found wanting. Oh, Amrik. Commander Levier, Atelios, true to your word, you arrived to aid us in our hour of need. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. All the pleasure's all mine. Truly. Though I would stay and lavish you with well-deserved praise, I fear I must, uh, I must await to oversee the aftermath of the siege. Not all the dragons are fled, and there are yet wounded to be carried from the field. Pray let us meet anon, that I might express my thanks with a proper curtsy. I too would offer my thanks, Atelius. Through your deeds we have achieved a victory of singular importance. With the Dravanian horde thus weakened and scattered, the threat to Ishgard has been greatly diminished. And mayhap equally significant, the Holy See must now recognize the necessity of cooperation with foreign powers. Long have they barred their gates against the outside world, but I am confident that the day will come when Ishgard proclaims itself a member of the Eorzean Alliance once more. Much have we sacrificed in our struggles against dragons and primals, the Asians and the Empire, but step by step, uh, step by unfaltering step, we march ever nearer to our goal. And as ever, the journey is made with you in the van. The victory you have won this day gives us greater hope for the morrow. Tis a hope that shall sustain us in the days to come, and bear us past the many evils that yet seek to hinder our progress. Yes, we have done we have, uh, we have done well, my friend, and I, for one, would take a moment to savor the enormity of our achievement. Of course. The demands of duty, however, allow me little for levity. I must accompany Captain Ilbert back to Ulda and reassign those braves whose, whose squads... Uh, suffered heavy losses. You, my friend, have earned a rest at the Rising Stones. Pray return to Revenant's Toll and share your tale with Minfilia in person. Like always, I'll see you around. Back to Revenant's Toll we all. Oh god, I really want that Infernal Rapier. It's so beautiful. I'd kill for it. I am gonna kill for it.
All right. Oh my god. I really deserve a rest. You're right, Alphano. Ah. Uh, I want a rest. I should clarify. Atelios, welcome back. Alphano sent word of the siege and, of course, the role you played in ending it. Your deeds never cease to amaze me, Atelios. Thank you. No problem! Oh, spell... skill speed or spells... Oh. I'll take this one. You must be weary, Atelios. And now... Uh, and now may very well be your only chance to... Uh... Antecedent! Oh no, I was just about... <clears throat> Hi, Tataru. A messenger from Ulta arrived with a missive for you. The Royal Seal. Curious indeed. Hmm. Ah. An invitation. On behalf of the Council of the Eorzean Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ul Namo invites the Scions of the Seventh Dawn to attend a feast at the Royal Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You for your valiant efforts as commander of the adventurer's conti uh, contingent, and the Archons for their earnest attempts to rouse the city-states. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a, pla uh, of a place at such a celebration. All three refused to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of sellswords, many of whom perished ere the siege began. Are they so? Are they truly so brazen as to seek to share the uh, share in the glory of your triumph? Uh, but mayhap they simply seek a pretext to meet with the Ishgardians while the mood is just jubilant. Such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Ishgard's uh, return to the Eorzean Alliance. <sighs> we have scarce had time to mourn Moonbrida. And I, for one, am in no mood to carouse. But I suppose we must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Though you were promised rest, I fear I must insist that you also attend. It would be a strange celebration indeed if the victorious hero were not present. Pray content yourself with the thought that such occasions may bring about momentous change, and this without recourse to, be blush uh, to bloodshed. Tatru, if you would do me the favor of contacting the rest of the Scions. Of course, Antecedent. And please, let me know... If there's anything else I can do. <sighs> I think Tatsuru needs a rest too. Curious, I have never known Tatsuru to sigh at such requests. Could aught be amiss? Oh no, what's happening? Say it ain't so, I will not go. Carry me home. Wait, I missed Tatru. I'm dumb. Tatru? Tatsuru is conspicuous by her abs uh, is conspicuous by her absence. Tatsuru? Hey, Philomene, have you seen Tatsuru? Tatsuru? I believe she just stepped outside. Now that I think on it, she did seem rather preoccupied. Hmm. 
wonder what could be bugging Tataru. Oh, Atelius, it's you. I didn't mean to worry anyone, it's nothing really. Well, it's not nothing exactly, but it feels like nothing compared to the towering trials you and the others face every day. Hey, hey Tataru, you need to talk to us, like, I mean, don't ever feel like your problems are below ours, really. And that's why I should probably talk to Minfilia before things get any worse. Uh, you have always known, uh, you always know what to say, Atelius. I'm glad we had this little chat. Yeah. Any time, Tataru. Ow. My knees. Oh, that person has the Shire coat. I really want the Shire coat. Yes, Tataru, you have my undivided attention. I've been hesitant to uh, to broach the subject, but uh, what with all the recent excitement, but Atelius made me realize that there's no time like the present, and time is what I'm here to ask you for. I'm not sure I understand. If you wish to be excused from your duties for a time, then you can certainly you have certainly earned the rest, but I suspect that lying abed is far from your intent. You know me too well, Antecedent. There is, in fact, something I've been wanting to try my hand at. Along with the adventurers and the Crystal Braves, the Scions are constantly being thrown into dangerous battles and deadly predicaments. Even Hori Boulder and Quilter have been promoted from guard duty to fill our need for competent warriors. And so it only seems right that I, should, uh, I too should acquire the power to defend myself and others more importantly. When I return, I shall be both your receptionist and your bodyguard. Oh, good for you, Tatru. You go. Achieve it. Yeah. You go. Whoa, hey! <laughs> there she goes. That's the first time I've almost almost been knocked to the ground by a Lollafell. I've never seen Miss Tataru so determined. Has aught befell with which I might help, Antecedent? Ah, not at present, thank you. Was there something you would ask of me? Oh, yes, pray excuse my distraction. An adventurer who was to uh, join us for escort duty was injured while on our patrol. And I fear we cannot properly defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of at least one more guard. <sighs> Therefore, I humbly request that another adventurer of the capable kind, of course, be assigned to our party. <sighs> Very well, I shall consider the potential candidates and provide you with a replacement as soon as I am able. Please. My thanks, Antecedent. I take my leave of you. Please, not me. I want to rest. <laughs> I just want to curl up in bed with like a bunch of blankets, hot chocolate. In Corthus. With Horshavon. I mean, what? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh boy. The power to defend oneself. Hmm. Tataru has ever been full of surprises. Now that I think on it, I do recall Uriange mentioning that she had developed an interest in Arcania, uh, Arcanima. Mayhap she hopes to gain admittance to the Arcanist Guild in Limsa Luminsa? Yes, that'll be the way of it. Would you be so kind as to journey to the Guild and see that all is well? It is uh, doubtless unwarranted, but surely I am not alone in my concern for her safety. Yeah. I wonder, do you perchance recall the commitment I made to furnish Hori Boulder with a capable adventurer? Well, I am sorry to say that I have uh, to say that I have as yet been unable to do so. Now I realize that you are rather more than a capable adventurer, and that escort duty is frankly beneath a man of your talents. But I have no one else to turn to at the present. Might you be willing to forego rest and assist us in this matter? I don't have an option. But you <laughs> generous to a fault. I thank you, Atelius. Now it only seems fair that I explain the import of the task in question. 
For some time, our order has employed a handful of scholars to travel around Eorzea taking etheric readings, so that we might better understand the impact of primal summonings. Naturally, it behooves us to ensure our employees' safety, and so we ask the adventurers in our service to serve as escorts. Um, Hori Boulder and Coltonet were to act as two such escorts, as was a third adventurer. Alas, due to injury, said adventurer is not presently fit for duty, hence my need to impose upon your goodwill. You are truly a pillar of strength, Atelius. Hori Boulder will share with you the details of your task. He should be waiting for you outside. Be safe. Yeah, that's fine. Hey there. Ah, Talios, is it true that you agreed to lend us a hand? Yep. Huzzah! What did I tell you, Col uh, Coltonet? Our misfortune has become a blessing. An opportunity to serve alongside the warrior of light himself. Need I remind you that we have three scholars to escort, each of whom will take a different route? True, true, but our mission is the same. Separated by moms we may be, but in spirit we shall be together. <laughs> if such thoughts bring you joy, you are welcome to think them. To more practical concerns, Atelios, we would have you attend to the scholar charged with surveying the South Shroud. He is waiting at Camp Tranquil as we speak. All you need to do is follow the man. He will determine the most appropriate locations to take his readings. In spirit, Atelios. In spirit, we shall be together every step of the way. <laughs> okay. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose any more people. Alright, so... We need to go to Gridania. So first, let's go to do the uh, Arcanist skill. Let's go to the... Uh-oh. Wait, hold up. Wait, what? Wait, are you sh Wait, really? Oh my... At last, the silence man deigns to grace me with his presence. A pity that we have no time for pleasantries. Our first destination is Izamhar. Come, we are late enough as though it is. Yes, this location suffice. Once I finish calibrating my instruments, I will require but a moment to take the necessary measurements. I trust I need not explain my work, can suffer no interruptions? Then please, stand at an appropriate distance and keep watch for wild beasts.
I see we have both completed our respective tasks. A, satisfy uh, a satisfactory outcome. Though, I, if I could make one suggestion, you might try to dispatch your foes more quietly in the future. I do not like to pick faults, but I must. I really must be allowed to concentrate. Then you can die. Now then, Snake Molt awaits. Shall we? I hate escort missions. Ugh, it's all the way over there. I am a tired boy. Ah, uh, right, right about here, yes. As before, I would ask that you keep an eye out for dangerous beasts as they work. <sighs> yeah, sure. These readings are not at all what I expected, though perhaps that should come as no surprise. I'm not given to superstition, but this is a queer, almost blasphemous air hereabouts. Air hereabouts. Let us quit this place and return to Roots Lake. We have one more su uh, site to survey, I mean. Uh. I'm too lazy to run all the way back. Okay. Don't judge me! Judge me, Vigar Somer. I'm only mortal after all. As before, my guardian, pray lead me to my task and ensure our safety. Yeah, yeah, I get it. data should prove invaluable too. Ye gods, what was that stench? Did you slaughter a creep of advertos while my back was turned? Quickly now, to camp tranquil. I will not have my clothing reeking of blood and offal. Listen, I hate talking to people like you!
Hmm, you chose to paddle in the ick for a while longer, I take it. No matter, I took advantage of my unexpected privacy and performed a cr uh, cursory analysis of my data. It would appear that there has been a, uh, has been a measurable decrease in Eorzea's ambient aether concentration since the calamity. However, this data is far from conclusive. We must take an, uh, additional measurements to confirm my assessment. I swear to god. For our next survey, I would have you escort me to Earth's Spawn. The ambient aether concentrations there are so high that crystalline structures form spontaneously. Sub uh, consequently, anomalous fluctuations should be far easier to detect. Brilliant, yes? No? Don't bother answering. That was rhetorical. Now come along. Uh... I am a dying piglet. Pull the trigger! You should be more fam than familiar with the procedure by now. Pray find a suitable po uh, position from which to keep watch while I take measurements. <sighs> I hope Odin spawns right here and just decks you with the face. Yes, yes, quite high, yet still markedly lower than historical measurements taken near the end of the 6th astral area. Uh, could the presence of a primal account for the difference, or is there something else? Something else. Something else. Scion! Scion, come here, I need- I need you! What? What's up? What? Huh? Riol? Wait, who's that? Fear not, my friends. Help has arrived. Wait, that's Wilred! There you are, Telios. Hori and I were worried when you and your charge failed to return at the appointed hour. Gutted like a hog, but not by one. No, these wounds were made with a blade. Doesn't look like he put much of a fight either. Nary a mark on his sword or his shield. I heard nothing of any Crystal Brave operations in this area. What cause had Wilred to come here? What, what, what should we do? Calm down. We will see to the scholar's protection, I tell you. Aye, and the boys remains. You should return to the Rising Stones. The antecedent will want to know what happened here. So do I. Where's Riol? Alright. We're gonna go to Lanoskia. Sweet Jesus. 
Atelios, what are you doing here? <gasps> she looks so cute! I didn't mean for her to worry. That's the last thing I wanted. Putting an end to such worries is precisely the reason I'm here, don't you see? I, Tatsuru Taru, shall become a great and powerful arcanist. And now, at Mistress uh, Thurbergheim's behest, I must go and complete a special trading exercise. Until we meet again. Wait a moment. I went full circle. Okay. Had to pause. So last, we needed to go up here, I think. Uh, greetings and welcome to the Archivist Guild. Do you require assistance? So, you are acquainted with our newest member. Hmm, I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I fear young Tatru may not be ideally suited to the study of Arcanima. Nevertheless, she would be she would not be denied. And goes now to undertake her first trial, a simulated inspection of three crates. A simple task, some might say, but one all Arcanists are expected to complete. A thought occurs to me. Why not supervise uh, Tatsu's training? You're clearly an accomplished uh, ad adventurer, uh, and given your relationship with the girl, you seem an ideal person to have on hand. Her trial will be conducted at the cliffs south of the Zephyr Gate. You need only observe at a distance. At a distance. I am sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm not talking. I'm just trying to run through everything. That and also I'm biting the skin off my my lip, so. Oh, 
Azur sees the pirate's port, where she met her shining jewel. For to bring the smuggler's plan to naught came the last whom none could fool. Beat him with the back, uh, backdraft, cut him with the gust, uh, deck him with the downburst, go carbuncle, go. <laughs> oh ho ho, are those crates I spy? Ah, and this must be the true test, but we're ready for them, aren't we, carbuncle? Carbuncle? Ah, uh, come back, Carbuncle, come back! I should have known you'd come, Atelios. You needn't say a word. Your face says it all. I know you bore witness to my shame. Betrayed by my own carbuncle and left at the mercy of wild beasts. I... I must accept the truth. I'll never be a warrior like you or the others. I will inform Mistress Thabergi, uh, uh, Thabergheim of my intention to withdraw from the guild. Arcanima, like so much else, is beyond me. Hey, don't feel that way, Tataru. Oh, Tataru. You tried your best. That's a lot of people. Ah, back so soon? How fared our fledging arcanist? Abysmally, mistress, uh, Thubergeim. Abysmally, as Atelius will testify. I was wrong to become an arcanist. Wrong as usual. I am completely and utterly unqualified, and I sincerely apologize for wasting your time. Tatru, if that were true, I would not have permitted you to join in the first place. We must all come to accept our limitations, lest our ambitions lead us astray. However, we must not lose sight of our strengths in the process. For example, your exceptional skills with numbers helped you gain a solid grasp for the fundamentals of Arcani uh, Arcanima. Ar wait, sorry, Arcanima. Were it not so, you would have struggled even to summon Carbuncle to your side. In my opinion, the Scions are truly fortunate to have such a capable and good-natured receptionist at their service. Would you not agree? Wholeheartedly. You are too kind, Mistress, uh, Mistress Thubergeim. Though I could not overcome this challenge, I shall take your words to heart and try not to be discouraged. Oh. Right? Uh, 
as fetching as these garments are, I fear I shall never don them again. But I can't go back to the Rising Stones without something to show for my time away. Wait, I know what, what I can do. That is, if you don't mind accompanying me for a little longer. Wonderful, then to Costa del Sol we'll go. It's a bit of a gamble, but I'm confident it'll pay off. Okay. Oh god, so many carbuncles. up mm -hmm. oh, I didn't realize that you could swim I thought you could only swim if you uh hmm. yes this is it this is where the man at the drowning wench told me to look this is a certain variety of clam which can be harvested this time of year in Bloodshore, one which produces the most marvelous pearls. However, these clams are also coveted by certain wild creatures, and since I fared poorly in the last battle... <clears throat> let us be off. I see. It's a... Oh, boy. <laughs> Maker Summer is probably like... Well, like, looking at this stupid shit that I'm doing, and he's just probably like, Why? Why did Highland choose this guy? What fortune? I've already found one. Would you be so kind as to keep watch while I work? This should only take a moment. Yeah. Oh, what? An incarnation? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you mother...
That was a lot tougher than I thought. Well fought, Atelius. Well fought. I knew I was right to ask you to come. As for me, I have my prize. A bounty of blood pearls. So named for the reddish hue, they were treasured as wards against dark magics in ancient times. I thought I might make charms for everyone. So that no matter where they go, they will always come home. Aww. It's sort of the power um, to defend myself and other people, in a way. Right, well, I mustn't keep Philomene waiting. There's work to be done, and lots of it. We've to secure provisions for the Scions in the Lumintian markets. She may have an eye for quality, but I have a nose for bargains. Will you be heading back to the Rising Stones? If so, pray convey my apologies to the Antecedent, and tell her that she needn't worry about me. Farewell, Atelios, and thank you for everything. Hmm, that sounded rather final, didn't it? How about, until we meet again? Aw, bye Tataru. Oh, where is everyone? Hmm. Hey, Mephilia. Welcome home, Atelius. I gather you found Tataru in Limsa Luminsa. Yep. My, it sounds as though she had quite an adventure, and while it did not end as, sh as she had hoped, I suspect it will prove to be a valuable experience. I dare say she could have managed without our intervention. Even so, I dare say uh, I appreciate you indulging in my request. Atelius, you are returned, and you seem troubled. Did the role of escort chaff so? Well, here's the thing. Wilred dead? Mayhap murdered? By the Twelve? How can that be? I will send word to Alphano at once. He will want to conduct a full investigation and send word to Wilred's family. Gods, he was just a boy. Who would do this and why? I don't know. Though recent events weigh heavily on our minds, we must need set them aside for now. We are come to a defining moment in Eorzean history. The grand commemoration of our joint defense of Ishgard, the first time in 15 long years that our people have stood, have stood side by side with our neighbors to the north to fight in common cause. This may mark the rebirth of the Eorzean alliance. Failing that, it should at least it should, at the very least, serve to bring our nations closer together. We have every reason to raise our voices in celebration, do we not? We have bested Dravanians and Alcyons both. Against desperate, uh, desperate odds, we have fought and won. But the primals still plague us, and the Empire still plots our sub subjugation. And our triumphs, remarkably remarkable though they were, or are, were brought at a, bought at a terrible price. Brave adventurers and allies broken on the steps of faith, and before our eyes in this very room, our dear friend Moonbrita. This is the victory we have wrought, and it is as bitter ashes in my mouth. I would sooner stay here and invite those with more appetite to enjoy the feast in my stead. 
Alas, it is a royal banquet and all of our allies will be in attendance. It is our duty to present a united front, that we might serve as a beacon of hope to all. It seems I have no choice but to take my own advice. I instructed the others to meet us in Ulda, that we might make our grand entrance together. Unfortunately, I had to settle for leaving Tataru and Lamin, uh, Lamin a note. If they do not return quickly, they will have to settle for whatever leftovers I can smuggle out of the fragrant chamber. <laughs> right, let's go. Off to the big soiree, I tell you. Raise a glass for me, eh? Or not. You don't look be uh, best pleased, lad. Something on your mind? Yeah. Do you know about Wilred? Well, I found him. Murdered. By the navigator. Wilred's dead? God damn it, they must have known they've been rumbled. I mean, er, sought it. This past time we had this talk. After our last conversation, I got to thinking about where certain funds were coming from. So I had to dig around. On the quiet. Uh, on the quiet like, and sure enough, I found it. Seems a fair bit of coins made its way into the Brave's coffers, courtesy of a Dodo Consortium, a daft name for a business if I've ever heard one, which is what gave me the inkling that something wasn't right. So I went through the ledges again and found another half dozen donations from organizations with stupid bloody names. Didn't take long to find the common thread. All were owned by the Mirage Trust. No, I'll give the bastard credit. He showed us up for the amateurs we are. Short of calling one of his businesses the bloody bribery consortium. I don't know what more he could have done to mock our rules on financial contributions. The gods only know how many men the first and third are taking to Leji's coin. But now, we know as some uh, of them are, I'd wager me right eye they're the ones that did for Rorin. The earnest young fool had taken to asking the wrong kind of questions. Bound to attract attention he was, should have seen it at the same time, but I didn't. God damn me. Still, I don't see what Teleji hopes to accomplish. He hid his scheme with all the care of a drunk pissing into the wind. No, he's clever. He's more clever than this. So we need to be clever too. That's the only way we'll ever repay this debt of blood. We'll purge every one of them traitorous bastards from our ranks. On that, you have my word. And I trust you to do so, Riol. Stay safe, dude. And Atelius, mind yourself when you're in Ulda, yeah? We're heading into a storm. I can smell it. The kind they'll sweep a man overboard and drag him under before he knows it. Be safe. Don't die on me, Riol. You're my favorite Crystal Brave member, okay? Alright. Off to old there we go. <sighs> Hey guys, yeah, I've been recording for like since 12 or like 1, so it's been like 7, 8 hours. <laughs> Dying inside. This episode is going to be very, very long. And I, for that, I apologize, but I feel like... We're getting close to the end. We have been waiting for you, Atelios. The celebration is due to begin shortly. I had hoped that we might make our introductions together, but Mistress Mamodi just sent word that you are needed at the quicksand. What? What do you mean? We will go on ahead, Atelios. Pray join us once matters at the quicksand are resolved. I just got here. <laughs> Give my regards to Mamodi and let her know that I will call upon her anon. Alright. See you there, Thancred. Okay. Where's the Aetherite?
I appreciate you dropping on such short notice, Atelios. I know you've got places to be, so I won't waste your time. You're friends with the Crystal Brave na uh, by the name of Eileen, aren't you? Former adventurer? Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure you uh, recruited her yourself. Well, anyways, she came around for a meal not long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast, uh, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Meet me at the station west of the Coffer and Coffin. There's something I must show you. A short message, I'll grant you. But she thought long and hard before picking these words. Barely touched her food, too. Under other circumstances, I'd have thought these signs of a troubled heart, but something tells me she ain't planned to confess her undying love. Uh, I... I mean... Heh <laughs> heh. Come but not gone. I don't like the sound of that. Um, so I'm gonna take off my headset for a little bit, so if my voice sounds kind of far, it's because it is far. It is because I am holding my microphone right next to my mouth. So, because my, my headset is pressing into my ears, or my, my glasses. Um, alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on, I have to actually... As you stand upon the platform, your thoughts begin to wander, and all too soon the ghosts of comrades lost and enemies slain before you are before are slain and begin to fi uh, file by your mind's eye in solemn procession. Clearing your head, you scan the horizon, but see no sign of Eileen. That doesn't sound good. Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Kikarin and the buzzing of Sifrids. But no approaching footfall. Sighing, you bow your head, only to notice the vial lying at your feet. Huh? What? Atelius, is that you? What brings you out this way? Oh, Laurentius. What's up? What are you doing out here? Hold on, I should be asking you that. Lieutenant Eileen? Why, no, I haven't seen her about. Had she come this way, I guarantee we would have crossed paths. I must have passed this spot a dozen times. We're to patrol the city's uh, environs on account of the royal banquet. Captain's orders, you understand. Speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with the other uh, honored guests, enjoying your well-deserved respite. I pray return to Ulda, Atelius. If I chance to meet the lieutenant, I will tell her you were here. Oh no... Oh no. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do.
Alright, I'm actually gonna end the episode here and we'll continue off because I feel like we're actually not that close to being done. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, be safe.